So for the first one, you're going to need uh, any acrylic paint in your choice and three mini composition books. And you're just going to start off by taping those so no paint gets on them. And then once you choose your colors, you're just going to paint them all over the book, back and front. And I just chose pastel colors like blue, white, and pink. And then once you're done letting them paint, you're going to let them dry for a little bit. And once they're dry, you're going to start painting a design on them. Say hey to my dog, Harley. But for this first one, I painted a watermelon on it. So you're just going to start by obviously painting a triangle shape and rounding out the edges and then adding the green at the bottom. And I did paint a pineapple one on one of the notebooks, but the footage got deleted. So just on the white notebook, I grabbed stickers, and these stickers you could write on. So basically, I just grabbed a whiteboard marker and started writing on it. And then I just ended up drawing little cute faces on the fruits, but you guys can do whatever you want. So for the next DIY, you're going to want the larger composition notebooks. And basically, I just grabbed said Mod Podge and I found these foil papers from the dollar store. So I just put that on there and laid it on. And what you're going to want to do is grab a card when you put it on and just kind of go over the notebook so it's sleek and if there's no air bubbles or anything. And then you're just going to want to repeat that on the back side and take a card again and just smooth out all the air bubbles. And then once you're done, I just took a cloth and wiped it off because there was some excess Mod Podge on there. And then once you're done, you're going to be able to take the tape off and then you're finished your DIY. And then you're going to want to repeat that for the rest of your notebooks. And then if you want, you can add some stickers. So on the first one, I just wrote notes on there. And on the second one, I found these whiteboard stickers and I just put it on there. And then for the next one, all I did was make a watercolor design on there. So obviously all you have to do is add some paint and water to it. And I just mix the colors to make like a pastel color. And then I just put it on the page and literally just mixed all of them together. And then I wanted it to be a little bit messier. So I just splatted some paint on there and took the blow dryer and so it would spread the paint. And then I just took one of those stickers again so you could write on there and I just stuck it on the notebook. And then for this next DIY you're going to use a picture frame and just take out the picture from there and then you're going to get um, some paint strips from like Home Depot or something and just cut them up to fit a uh, five by seven in the photo frame and then what you're going to need to do is grab some Mod Podge and I just put them on the paper and stuck the pieces of paint uh, samples on there until I got the five by seven on there. And then once you're done that, you're going to be able to put that back into the picture frame. And then once you do that, you just grab a whiteboard marker and then you can write any day of the month on there for your calendar as an organization. And 
you can also use the picture frame for a things to do list so you can just grab a whiteboard marker and then just write whatever you want to do and then check it off when you're done